The names on the go. Yoshi on the go. <laughs> this this Christmas, just a, a month ago or so, my uh, papa, my papa bear, uh, gave me the wonderful gift of Bond. James Bond in the form of the ultimate Blu-ray collection. <laughs> Which, speaking of my papa, if uh, you're up for, for watching some hilarious video game carnage, you can watch my dad play Halo 5, or both my parents play Left 4 Dead down here. The Left 4 Dead video is, is, is the best one, uh, because my mom uh, also plays, and, and she's just great. Like, she is just so fun and everything. And so, um, ever since then, I've been watching every single Bond movie like a madman, and um, one thing that surprised me was um, I would watch the movies a lot. They would play on, on TV back in the day when I was a, a wee little lad in the 90s um, when we only had 13 channels. Um, one of the channels would play Bond movies pretty regularly, and I'd watch a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd seen them all, but actually I hadn't. Probably a third to half of the movies that I, of all the James Bond movies, I hadn't even seen. So I just finished Die Another Day, um, which is basically a remake of Diamonds Are Forever, and Skyfall, some Bond fans say, is basically just a remake of Die Another Day, which is kind of funny. We've got every single movie with a slot open for Spectre, uh, which I pre-ordered on Amazon, and this is just a really classy design. Unlike the Mission Impossible Steelbook Collection, which, if you want to see that video, click this square right here. All of these discs match, and all of the menus match, except for the Daniel Craig DVD menus, which use the, the original menus. That... One thing that I was really surprised, especially being an older person than the last time I saw these movies, is just how punny and, and fun and just, just silly that James Bond is. Like, he's making, he's cracking all these silly jokes and puns, and it's just legitimately hilarious. Um, and in my opinion, aside from perhaps a few bad uh, CGI shots like uh, in Die Another Day, <clears throat> all of the movies are good, if not great. Um, except for the first movie, Dr. No, is... <laughs> uh, it's so boring. Oh, it's just so dull, like, oh my gosh, if that movie came out today, he would be dead in the water just like that. It is, it is just such a bad movie. One of the movies that I hadn't seen before, uh, Thunderball, was just incredible, especially the last, the last sequence where we have this underwater battle. John, it's one of the, it's one of the few movies that uh, James Bond recruits the help of others to, like, save the day or whatever, and so... And so he recruits the help of like the, the Coast Guard or the Marines or the FBI or someone. And there's just this incredible underwater battle scene with spears and scuba tanks. And um, it's, it's just insane. Up until that point, it was a good movie. And then at that point, that final battle sequence just blew my freaking little mind and made it just a great, great movie. So that's one of my favorites. Like, holy, holy freaking crap. GoldenEye um, is another one of my favorites. Casino Royale and Spectre are, are just super good. Um, all the Both Timothy Dalton movies are as amazing as I remembered them. And uh, unfortunately, that makes me sad because he originally was going to have three movies with the possibility for a fourth one, but he only got two, and he's my favorite Bond, so what's up with that? Well, uh, I guess I have to wrap up this video. I'm going to go ahead and pop in Casino Royale and... Uh, get some popcorn and enjoy my night. So we'll see you later.